Good morning, everybody. Painblade back here again from Server One, representing ISC and Tribes Lab. Uh, guys, we've done a lot of videos in the last few days. Uh, a lot of different ones. We've done some team building videos. We've done uh, a couple of videos for Arena, such as yesterday's uh, co-op versus Tribes. And thank you, everybody, for your feedback on that. It's actually very interesting to see. Uh, the amount of people who love to use tribes and are actually successful with it and then those who have swapped over to co-op and are, are you know loving the, the success that's bringing them so guys this just remember this is a this is all about constructive dialogue um, and I love the fact that the community is being involved and you know we're, we're constantly helping each other grow here and that's always been the purpose of this channel it's not to glow it's not to you know tell you I'm right or I'm wrong it's it's just about dialogue and about education so you know I, I've done a lot of testing for a lot of these things and I'm, I know I just want to share my test results with you guys and by all means uh, constructive criticism and uh, you know feedback is exactly what I'm going for so kudos to you guys for uh, for stepping up and jumping onto the comment section that's exactly what the purpose of this is but today we're going to go back to the basics we're going to go back to what i started doing in the beginning and that's showcasing characters uh, so we're going to actually going to be focusing on richamaru today um, now i know i did say sasari was going to come up soon but i'm waiting for an alliance member to complete uh, the rainbow frame um, as i'm not in, in a rush to get that or i don't want that personally uh, so you know i'm trying to help out some of my alliance members get some of these characters at rank one so they can go ahead and benefit from that um, that rainbow frame so with that being said let's jump into the shinobi list um now as, as many of you know um my roster's getting pretty good uh saying i'm being humble obviously saying that i've got a lot of good characters here uh at seven stars etc etc uh and i've been working on, on the whole roster i'm trying to get everybody at least to 64 and seven stars now richamaru honestly is the one of the only ones that i don't have enough frags to seven yet i'm only off by 20 yeah there you go As you can see 430 out of 450 uh i could use obviously my sr um fragments but there's no need i mean i'm not in a rush to get him he's not on my he's not on my main team and i can farm him now from uh from elite missions so i'm gonna hold off on getting him to seven so what i'm gonna showcase to you guys today is a very incomplete orichimaru uh with six stars as well as uh skills that are ranging from the level 30s to 20s i believe and and gear that's probably at 50 to about 30 uh, and the reason why I'm doing this is because you don't really need to have an insanely buffer tomorrow to take to take advantage of him and that's what makes him very unique um, not only is he in my opinion the best sanding that was released and probably should have been the UR to be honest but he's also one of the best D characters and, and uh, crowd control characters in the game so look out for my crowd control video coming up soon um, that will actually feature him in it as well too and show you guys how you can pretty much jumble up arena for your opponents but as usual let's get into the uh, the artwork first as you can see here Arichimaru king of snakes you know snake himself uh, beautiful I think it's a beautiful artwork I think it shows and depicts how crazy he is uh, it's unique seeing his arms still working here as you guys all know in the anime he lost those arms to the third Hokage um, and uh, the purple is actually a fantastic color with the green so awesome awesome artwork and he looks menacing so that's they've done a good job with that now to the link bonus uh, is in order to get full advantage of a Richimaru you're gonna need the sanding and for his 20% attack um, so getting Jiraiya, of course, is a little more difficult. Uh, so now they do is farmable now. Um, to get the second link bonus, you need Mitsuki and you need Baruto. Which Baruto was interesting. Mitsuki, I understand, obviously being his, you know, his clone son, uh, but Baruto was an interesting one. But very easy to get. Both are extremely farmable, and, um, and everybody should have a, you know, almost a seven star Mitsuki and either a six or a five star uh, Baruto. And then the last one you need is Sugetsu and Jugo, of course his experiments uh you know his, his pupils um very easy to get as well now too as they are farmable and they've been around for a while too so very straightforward as you can see you get the defense hp and attack buffs for tomorrow for his links uh stats wise the tomorrow actually is pretty good for stats um where he where he kind of lacks uh, in my opinion is damage at the moment for me at least but I've seen some original Mars do some crazy damage so you can get his damage up pretty high and as you can see here his guard rate is pretty good as is his uh, guard damage rate reduction so overall Richie Maru is a very tanky crowd control uh, unit so uh, definitely um, you can put him in as a tank as well as a crowd control character and he does both extremely well uh, and he actually throws in decent damage all right, and then if you look at his stats now, his HP is mine at least is 130,000 almost. Attack is uh, you know roughly about uh, almost 19,000, uh, and then his defense is actually really high for for the level that I'm at right now, which is uh, 6,312. For speed, he's a medium. 
character for speed, like he's got decent speed, you definitely will need to put some scrolls into him uh, to get him uh, stronger and faster. Um, but uh, he definitely is one of the faster D characters in the game. And then for Tri Special, of course, he's got two, three specials. One of the only characters I know that have all three. He's got a two man with uh, Kabuto, he's got a three man AoE with the Sanin, and he's got a, a single target one with Heavy and Kabuto. Now, this is one of the only characters that has all three like that. So in that regard, it makes them very, very useful in PvP and PvE if you are into tribes in PvP, as you know I'm not. But he's also a fantastic character just on his own. Alright, so let's jump into his skills. And this is what makes Orochimaru so powerful, in my opinion, is the fact that he is the only character in the game with the second skill, which we're going to go through. So the first skill is, uh, skill is Mandara's Formation. And that what, it, that what that does is lowers all enemies' attack by 16.28%. Um, I believe that's for two turns as well too, or maybe for the whole battle even. Um, it doesn't really say which is odd, but it also does 100% chance to confuse. Now confuse is probably the weakest of the crowd control, I, um, crowd controls in the game. Uh, what confuse does, if you don't know, is it hits an opponent and then it jumbles them around in different rotations and in different spots and positions in in the opponent's. Um, uh, gauge. So, you know, if, if you hit a blue, for example, he may end up jumping at the end of the line, being part of a red, and then a second turn he may jump in the middle. So it jumbles up the entire rotation, which is fantastic. But the only problem with Confuse, and this is my, my gripe, is the fact that it, it still allows for tribes and co-ops to go off, right? Unlike stun or paralyze, where you can't use that, uh, that character at all. So there's still the ability to, to rotate that person back into the, the proper line with a, with a tribe or a co-op. Um, so keep that in mind. At least, sorry, with a tribe, not a co-op. Co-op will still remain as is, whoever, whatever three are there. But with a co with a tribe, it will rotate them back to the proper section. All right, but the the attack uh, down is decent. Now, keep in mind, debuffs do not stack. So, if you already have someone like Mama Sakura who does do uh, attack down, she only does attack down for three opponents. He does attack down for everybody. So, it will only affect the uh, the remaining people if you have them on the same team. But still, nonetheless, a really good skill. Uh, his second skill is what actually makes Orochimaru extremely unique. He's the only character in the game with a silence. Now, if you don't know what silence does, at a 60% chance, which is stupid high, um, probably the highest CC you can get outside of that 100% confuse, silence actually stops all ninjutsu and tribes from being usable, and that includes co-ops for that specific character. So if you were to hit a, let's say, a Dadara or Sasuke with this, and their special gauge is up, they can't actually perform any jutsus for two turns, and they also cannot be a part of a tribe for two turns or a co-op. So it definitely cripples teams, especially ones that are looking are, are very tribe heavy. Um, so this is another reason why Richamaru is so dangerous. He's the only character currently with this skill, right? So the good thing is you don't even need to level it up. You can have it at, at level one and it'll still do 60% chance. The only thing that goes up is the damage. And as you can see here, my, my Richamaru in terms of his skill is nowhere near where he should be, and he's still pretty high. Um, he's got, of course, the attack and the HP boost small, being an SR character. As a UR, you get medium. Good luck and renewal. Now, this is actually a really good move. Uh, boost all active allies, so the three allies that you're associated with on that turn. Damage reduction rate uh, by 22.66% right now as, as my skill is so low but this even goes higher right so he already does a lot of crowd control but he also reduces damage coming in and he also lowers all damage reduction rate for for the opponent at the end of the at the start of the turn after he has been defeated for the rest of the battle so that's huge if you don't have like a sasuke kirin to do that already for all the opponents if your rich maru dies you're now hitting harder and you're taking less damage just from having him right um but now you lose you will lose that damage reduction rate if he dies for yourself, but you will get the damage reduction rate down for the opponent. So it's almost like a swap. So in that regard, you're still benefiting from him being alive and dead. So that makes Orochimaru extremely powerful as a tank and as a crowd control unit. So guys, if you have him on your roster, and if you see him on the tier list, he's one of the top S characters for Arena. He's fantastic. You don't even need a signing to use him. Where Jiraiya and Tsunade are almost linked by the hip in this game because of the chakra that he gives him, uh, Orochimaru doesn't even need it. He just he's, he's perfectly functional on his own, and he does extremely well on his own. All right, so as you can see here, gear-wise, guys, I'm at 50-50, 40-40. As an F2P, this is kind of the layout you want. You can even probably have the last two at 35. I'm a whale, obviously, so I can go higher, but I decided to focus up my, my resources elsewhere. 
Scrolls and Talismans, I'm at 25-25. Vitality, I'm one across the board. So as you can see, my power is at 28,500 in tier 13. Now, what I've done is I've actually done a, ba a couple battles here with Orochimaru in Arena. My, usually, you guys are usually used to seeing me at first or third. Today, I lost a few matches because he is underdeveloped and I fought some harder guys. Um, as you see, I'm number five right now only. Um, that probably will drop to top 10, maybe top 20, to be honest, with the way it's going. But as you can see here, I lost to uh, Suck and I lost once to Boo and I beat Boo once. Um, but what we're going to do here is we're going to play this match. And what I want to do here, guys, is I want to show you uh, the crowd control, if I haven't seen this match yet, but I'm assuming this match is going to be okay because Onyx is, is a pretty good uh, telltale um, sign of what I can do because he's slower than me. So again, with showcases, I want to show you what he's all about, right? So I'm going to lower this speed. Actually, I'm going to speed this one up. And what I want to do here is I want to show you guys his abilities and his silence and his... Hopefully I can pull off a Jitsu with him uh, so you guys can see how Confuse works if you haven't used it before. And Eno has another Confuse as well, so I mean it's not an uncommon move, but the silence is definitely unique. So let's see here what we get off. There we go, okay. So let's take a look. Attack up, damage reduction. So you see damage reduction rate up was from Richumaru. The whole team there got it. Now is he, and he's going to do a silence. So let's see if I land the silence. Okay, so damage rate reduction down. And I did not land the silence. So 60% chance and I didn't land it. As you can see, you know, it's a higher chance to land than not, but... It happens once in a while where you won't. So let's keep going through the list here. Let's go 5 speed actually. I love this 5 speed by the way. It'll make these videos go much faster. Um, but yeah, so like having, having if I had silenced Concur there and he had his Jitsu up next, he wouldn't be able to perform it, which is really cool because he has a hard hitting single Jitsu. And if his tribe were to come up, he can't even be part of the tribe. So he'd have to do a co-op uh, where they would have to do a co-op or they would have to settle for waiting. Now the AI would probably do a co-op, but Let's see if I can land it here, if I get it again. Damage rate reduction up again, there's you saw there. So no, I won't get, oh no, I do get it. Okay, but he's gonna do a co-op. Okay, so here is here is how Mandara's formation works. You'll notice it in a second. So as you can see, this is why, again, my last video, I don't like tribes. Uh, he The the AI decided to do a two-man tribe, so if I kill Baruto and Naruto, you're about, they're about to lose their whole turn. The chances are I will kill one of them. Or stun at least one of them. Let's see, let's find out, I guess. So here we go. There you go. And let's see if I hit I hit Naruto. So you, now you can see he's confused, right? And he's got he's got attack down now. So the next turn, Naruto is not gonna be part of his he might he may not be part of his red crew anymore, unless he dies here, which he did, and then it's gonna block the block the tribe. Um, so I'm gonna speed this up. So as you can see there, it would confuse him and lowered his attack. So if Naruto did live, he would have pulled off his tribe. But then the next turn, he would have had to been he would have been forced to go into a different rotation, um, and that's what Confuse does. It messes up the rotation of the opponent. So you see another tribe was pulled off. They're gonna die here. I, mean, I don't know if I'll get a, a silence off. I may if the opponent doesn't die this turn here, which they very well what they, they may actually here. There you go. So they're doing a co-op this time. Let's see if I end up doing any, leaving one of them alive. All right, not the dead. Got a dead. No, I think this might be it. Oh no. Okay, guys, good. Guys, guys, very tanky. And I'll be doing a video on guy as well. I'm actually a pretty big fan of guys. Um, so I'll do a video on him eventually. All right. So let's just wait for this to go through. I forgot you can't change the speed midway. It has to be done in the beginning. So I was, I'm hoping, oh no, okay, he's got his full chakra out. So chances are I'm going to kill this guy with Karen, uh, because Karen does a lot of damage to the units with a special. But uh, if I don't, it'll end the match with Richimaru anyway. So let's just finish this off. Again, I can't skip, let's change the speed. Just so you guys are aware, you can't change the speed midway. You got to do it right from the start. Yeah, he's dead. Okay, well, that's, I mean, that's still a good showing there nonetheless. All right, guys, so I hope that helped out a little bit with the Richimaru. Um, again, as you saw there, uh, he does do the confusion. He does do the silence, um, and he will do a ton of tanking for you. And Because as you saw, he did damage reduction rate for the entire three-man tribe. So he did it for, sorry, not three-man tribe. He did it for my three-man. So both Sasuke's got damage reduction rate there. So guys, definitely, if you have a Richimaru and you're looking for a good crowd control user and a tank at the same time, he is probably the best in the game to do that. I don't. I actually don't know on top of my head of anybody else that does what he does that well. 
and can take damage as well as he does too and provide you guys with such good buffs and debuffs on the opponent when he dies. So if you have him, definitely consider putting him on your roster. I probably will eventually add him to some sort of team, I just probably the crowd control team that I'm going to create. Um, but until then, uh, I'm, I'm still holding off on him because I'm trying to finish my crit team. But again, if you have him guys, amazing unit, definitely use him. Uh, I hope this video helped convince that. Um, and if you have any further questions about him or any other characters, you know how to reach me. A lot of you have been. Hit me up through DM. I'll do my best to get back to you if I can. If not, I'll direct you to the main Discord where there's a ton of good players to help you out through the team building channel. Uh, so this is Payne, guys. Enjoy the rest of your day, and we'll talk soon.